Hello viewers, thank you for watching this video. We want to solve this problem on the screen. As you can see here, the simple problem that we need the solution to understand uh, certain things about um, uh, an object uh, that is that experience ear resistance. So we need the solution to exploit that uh, dynamics. But to cut the story short, uh, you can see here that um, we have um, second order ordinary differential equation here, and we are to show that the solution is equals to x of t, v naught over k, 1 minus exponential minus kt. So let's start. This problem here, it's something we can rewrite because x dot dot means a second derivative of x with respect to t. Why x dot means um, the x dt, which is the equation 3 in our lecture notes. So for us to solve this equation 3, we are going to assume a solution, and that solution is actually x of t equals to exponential mt. This solution here, it has a lot of story behind it, but um, don't let me go down to the story. But one thing that um, this problem want to solve, it, we can easily assume the solution here to help us obtain um, x of t, which will satisfy equation 3. So let's differentiate x of t to give us m e m squared e m e m x we can differentiate the second time again to give us m squared e m t so after this we can now substitute all of them into equation 3 so if you substitute into equation 3 you now see that the square x the t square will now become x square e m t while in the k here we still have our k and then the x dt will now be m e m t so we have it to be equal to zero, which is the same thing as our equation three. We only substitute our assumed solution and its derivative to give us this. So we can factorize. If we factorize, we can see that EMT can come out. Then we have M squared plus KM. Okay. So um, let's proceed with this. But one thing we should bear in mind is that um, EMT is not zero. Yes, definitely. We should note that, that exponential MT is not zero, but m squared plus km is equal to zero because as you can see here, we have two things, which is this multiplied by emt to be equal to zero. And if that is the case, emt is our zoomed solution, so it can never be zero. Emt is our zoomed solution, it can never be zero. So it's only m squared plus km that can be zero. Okay, so we have this. So this thing here is very simple. You know, we are familiar with um, almighty formula before, quadratic equation. And this expression here, we can call it auxiliary equation. We can call it auxiliary equation. So let's solve it. A is 1, which is the coefficient of m squared. B is k, which is the coefficient of m. And here, you know, we have c to be 0. Yes, from quadratic equation, c is 0 here now. So if we substitute everything back to the almighty formula, we can see that this one will give us minus k, then plus or minus, then k squared then minus 4 times 1 times 0. 0 is C. Don't forget, 4AC. 4AC divided by 2A. So we have this now. If we look at it very well, this implies that um, minus k plus or minus is equal to square root of k squared because here, yeah, 4 times 1 times 0, we give us 0. So we have it. So what is the square root of k squared? It's k. Then we have minus k, then plus or minus k, then divided by 2. Then, in other words, we can actually note that um, here we have our m1 to be minus k plus k over 2. And we can also have our m2 to be minus k minus k. Don't forget the reason is because here, you know, we have plus or minus, plus or minus, okay? So, we have this. So, minus k plus k, we give us 0. 0 over 2, we give us 0. And for this one, uh, minus k minus k, we give us minus 2k. And minus 2k divided by 2, we give us minus k. So we have this now. We have to go back to our zoom solution, which is EMT. But one thing about this is that we obtain two conditions. We obtain two equations for the auxiliary. Okay? So which means that our X of T can be expressed to capture the two M1, to capture M1 and M2. So this one will give us A exponential M1T plus B exponential M2T. So what is our M1? Our M1 is zero. As you can see it here, we have our M1 to be zero. Then what about our M2? Our M2 is minus K. And we substitute them back to this expression to give us this. So there's a problem. How do we find A and B? 
Those are the two constants there. How do we find them? It's very simple. Let us use the condition. You know, we are given the condition that at time t to be zero, the displacement of the object is zero. And then we throw the object horizontally and with the initial speed of v naught. So that means that the velocity, which is the derivative of displacement, will give us x dot. I mean, excuse me, uh, velocity, which is the derivative, the derivative of x we have here, then which is v naught. So we are going to use these two conditions to find our a and b. Let's start for the first one. The first one is x of 0 is 0. What does it mean? It means that when t is 0, when time is 0, then the displacement is 0. So if we substitute them back to our equation 4 here, we see now that um, t here is 0, which is 0. Then we have a exponential 0 plus b exponential minus k of 0. Then is equal to 0. This 0 here is this 0. So we have it like this. And we mean that a is equal to minus b. Okay, that's not horrible. We need to use the second expression, which is x naught of 0 equals to v naught. Like I've explained in the physical class that this v naught here is the initial speed of the object that is being thrown horizontally. And the object experiences ear resistance. So we have our x of t now to be this, which is what we are familiar with. We've obtained this before. Then we want to use the second condition. But then we need to differentiate equation 4. If we differentiate it, you know, exponential 0 here is 1 times a. If we differentiate this, you have 0. And if you differentiate this one, exponential minus kt, you have minus k that will multiply it. Then this will give us minus b of k, exponential minus kc. So let us now use x dot of 0 equals to v naught and a equals to minus b, the one we are familiar with before. This is the condition and this is the, what we obtain at the end of using the first condition. So if we differentiate this at t equals to 0, we have this. Then bk, exponential minus k, t here is 0 then is equals to v naught. So what does it mean? It means uh, v naught is equals to ak. Yes. Because look at it. Exponential minus k is zero. We give us um we give us uh one. Then we have minus bk equals to v naught. But remember that we already have our uh, v naught to be this bk. So if we substitute a equals to minus b back a, don't forget that this is minus b a, this minus b a is the same thing as our a. So if you do that, then we can see that v0 is equal to what? a k. a k. Because see, look at it. Minus v a. If you change this one to a, minus you change to a, then you have a k. Then it goes to v0. Okay? So the next thing now is that we've sure that a equals to minus b and we find our v0 to be a k. But that's not how we can still look at it in a better way that um, our a is what? v0 over k. What about our b? Our b is minus v0 over k. So let's substitute all back into equation 4, which is our equation 4. So instead of writing A, we write V0 over K. Instead of writing B, we write minus V0 over K. So we can factorize this. If we factorize this, then we obtain our V0 equals to 1 minus exponential minus KT. So this is what we are going to use in our lecture notes. If you go back there, you see how we are going to use this expression because it's going to help us to understand the motion of an object being thrown horizontally and it experiences here resistance. So thank you very much. We're going to proceed to the next question, which is our tutorial question 12. Thank you for watching. Bye.